on. I remembered today. <laughs> <laughs> Minor technicality. <laughs> yeah, sometimes on the news I forget. You know, it, it happens. But I'm usually sitting over here, and it's a little tiny bar over there, so I miss it occasionally. We're almost here. Almost. Come on, Facebook. There it is. All right, so we'll give it just a second and live. All right. Hello, and welcome to another live interview. Here with LPNN. How do you pronounce your last name? It's Liam. Liam. I was I wasn't sure if it was Liam or if it was Loom or yeah. I just didn't know. It's so we're pronounced here. a lot of different ways. All right. <laughs> so we're here with Kay Liam from Coconino Community College, who wants to talk to you guys today about the C A M T or CAMT right. program. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, we're going to ask her a few questions about it. She has a lot of things to say about it right here in Page, Arizona. Once again, for you guys just joining us, this is Katie Liam from the Coconino County College over here. And uh, you want to talk about the CAMT program. We mentioned it on the news a few times. You want to tell us a little bit about it? What is it? What is it? I appreciate you mentioning it. It's an outstanding program that helps students build their skills and advance in their job and in the workforce. It's the Certified Apartment Maintenance Technology. That's a mouthful. It is. <laughs> <laughs> program, and it's a national certification. It is a national? It okay, a I wasn't sure if it was just something we were doing locally. So yeah. this is a nationally recognized certification. That's right, nice. through the National Apartment Association. Okay, okay. And the students do through, go through 90 hours. 90 of, hours, wow, okay. That's right, about five weeks in the program that we'll have it here at CCC Page. And they will end up with a certification from that national organization. Okay, all right. So what, what all is involved with that? You bet. The program actually has quite an extensive curriculum. Okay. Uh, electrical services, plumbing, What HVAC. kind of electrical services? I, I, I have a background in a lot of this stuff. Yes. Before I was a news guy, I did a lot of construction work, a lot of low voltage. Is it like normal house voltage things, like how to install wiring, things Absolutely. like that? Absolutely. Okay. So they won't end up with a electrical certification, okay. Okay. but it will have enough content so that they can fix anything that might go wrong electrical-wise okay. at an apartment or at okay. a commercial industry or houseboat even. Okay, well, that's so, a big deal around here. There's a, a lot deal. of houseboats out there. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and there's a lot of uh, houseboat businesses that are looking for people to come help them out. That's so. right. And and really because the, the title is... Uh, the certification for apartment maintenance technician it's a little deceiving because that makes you think you can only work at an apartment sure sure or okay. an apartment complex but our instructors are tailoring it with some houseboat components okay they also want to make sure that the students understand that they can um, take these skills and transfer them to the commercial workforce so okay, okay. restaurants hotels nice. um, motels okay okay uh, what else do you, so you have electrical and uh, what else do we have here? So all, anything that you can think of that you might need in order to maintain that kind of a facility. Okay, okay. Painting, um, air conditioning, heating, okay. so forth. But you're not getting individually certified on each of those. You're just getting a, a broad overview on this is how it works and this is how you fix it. That's right. Okay, That's all right. right. Understanding the mechanics of it. Understanding the mechanics of so it. So the, awesome. the instruction will take place at CCC Page in okay. the mornings. And then the caveat folks are having us use their space for okay. the hands-on work in the afternoons oh, each really? day. Okay, okay. And the program starts May 29th. May 29th, all right. And runs through June 27th. Okay. And at the end of that time, the students will take an online test okay. that determines whether or not they're eligible for that certificate. Okay. Then they work for a year, and then they will get the national recognition. Oh, okay, so you have to have a year of experience, That's right. and then you get yep. the certification. But okay. if you're okay. somebody who's already been working in the field, and you, already you, can know take, this stuff. you can take that year that you've already worked and apply right away. And oh, so it does it. Oh, right away. very nice. Very yes. Nice. So I know everyone's got a lot of questions out there about this, but I know one of the big ones is, how much does this cost? To learn all of these things, to figure out all these neat things, to get a certification, 
How much does it cost? You bet. So the exciting thing about this program is that the county, Coconino County, has received a grant, and they're okay. using part of this grant money to pay for the CAMT program. So it is absolutely really? free. <laughs> so you get a certification for free. For free. The county's <laughs> footing the bill on this 90 one. hours for 90 free. Hours. Wow. That's pretty impressive. It I, is I, impressive. That is really impressive. So you get a free certificate after a year, or if you have it, you can apply that stuff. How many spaces are available in this class? So the instructors would like to at least have 15 students, but 15, they will okay. go more if there are more interested. Okay. We need to, the class, start, like I mentioned, starts May 29th, so we really need to know by next Wednesday, by the 23rd. So they have no, until next Wednesday to try and sign up for it. That's right. Okay. So we have an application. And then we do talk with each one of them a little bit just okay. to make sure that that commitment is there, that they understand the time that's involved. Okay. Uh, because okay. it's free, um, we want to make sure that we're offering it to people who really can utilize the okay. skills okay. and the, the benefit from it. Okay. All right. Let's see. We have a, a comment here. Is the cost based on someone's income or is it free for everyone interested? That is a great question. And, and really, this particular one that we're offering in PAGE is for anyone that's interested. It's nice. not based okay. on income. Okay. The programs that we've offered in Flagstaff through Coconino Community College there have been based on income because it's been through okay. the career um, program. Okay, okay. This one, sense. though, is not based so on So just income. anybody can come in, take an interview, see if they've got what it's going to take to actually take the class and get the certifications. and Best deal you can find right there. <laughs> All right, so we, you have 15 positions, possibly more available, because mm -hmm. you want to try and squeeze in. How many are left available right now? So so we have about four more that we would like to fill in four, order for okay. the program to go. Okay, so we need at least so, four more people. That's right. Well, you hear that, you get a free certificate, you get to learn all kinds of cool stuff. And as I always say, it's awesome to learn something new every day. I try and learn something new every day. That's right. <laughs> you guys should be doing the same out there if you're not. Stop watching TV. Go learn something. <laughs> I mean, hey, you get a free program where you get a certificate. So, hey, there's only a few slots left available. You need to head on down over to CCC and sign up for this thing. That's right. I would like to encourage folks just to come on into our building there next to the library. Okay. We're there from 8 in the morning until 6 at night. Okay. And like I said, there's an application that needs to be completed, a registration form. And if we can get that by Wednesday, that's great. Okay, okay. So next Wednesday, that's the deadline, guys. Get down there. Yes. Uh, let's see. What it looks like we have another question here. What are the education requirements? Does someone have to have any college education or a high school diploma or a GED? Another excellent question. And actually, there aren't any requirements for previous education. Really? Just nothing? You can just walk in off the street and be like, hey, I yeah, learned something. <laughs> that's right. right. Um, certainly, um, having s some ability to be able to comprehend reading is good. Probably. Because the I would, I textbook would um, is is pretty thick is it okay but it okay. has it's a great textbook that makes it sound a little overwhelming but a lot of pictures and a lot of places to do exercises and so forth okay. And, okay. and then the other the other thing is that a lot of the work is done online through computer modules oh, and okay. so you don't have to be a computer whiz in order to handle it you just have to be able to click that being mouse. able to click and okay. navigate through the computer is helpful and we are um, allowing high school students to enroll in the program oh, really? as well. So, so any age, pretty much. 17, 18 year olds. Nice. We'll, we'll take them as well. <laughs> okay. All right. That that's pretty impressive. Yes. Let's see. You've got a little flyer here. Let's see. Yeah, it's the same one you can see yeah, on the back. Yeah, the same one you guys there. can see, but I can't read it. <laughs> right. I have a 37 inch monitor, but I still can't see that. Right. <laughs> Let's see. We have information. Set. So we have uh, plumbing services. HVAC services like your dial, painting, construction services and repairs, mechanical services and repairs, appliance services and repairs, lock and key. So is that like a locksmith kind of thing? Exactly. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Customer service and performing maintenance tasks according to company policy and procedures. Minimizing personal and property damage while safely performing maintenance activities. That's a big one right yes. there. A lot of people <laughs> right. I've seen out there, it's like, hey, you probably shouldn't be doing all yes, that. They, we do spend some time on safety. That's a, that is a good thing. Are they up to OSHA standards? I mean, do you get any kind of certification so we don't, for that? Um, or? We, this particular program doesn't have the OSHA component, but it is something we've talked about doing. The okay. instructor who teaches it is an OSHA instructor. Oh, really? So okay. we have okay. talked about um, working in the OSHA 10 okay. certification into the program. Well, that would definitely be interesting. It, wouldn't it be? Yeah, I think that would <laughs> that be. That one would cost some money. But. Yeah, I'm sure it would, but it's it's a really good one to it's, have. It 
is. Uh, we do have another question here. It says, I work full time. Will there be an opportunity for me to attend this at a later date or are there arrangements being made uh, for currently employed to attend, the currently employed? Sure. So we actually have several of the students who have committed that are currently employed and they're being able to work with their current supervisor to either work on the weekends during the program or in the in the evenings. Okay. That's, I'm sure so most that's employers a, would be pretty excited for them to get some, that's you know, their exactly employees right. to get some more knowledge. Yeah. So that's a possibility. And then we are looking at it in the future. Okay. We'll also be offering the CAMT program to the Grand Canyon okay. with some historic preservation as a focus on really? that one. Okay, okay. But we're looking at doing it there on some intensive weekends, and that may be a model that we can also put into place here in Page in okay. the future. But the, the program runs from 8 in the morning until about 2 or 3 each afternoon. Okay. So it would make for a long day, but just for a temporary time frame that somebody would have to be able to adjust their schedule. But you're getting this for free. I mean, that's, that's, right. that's pretty <laughs> impressive. I mean, I think you could take right. some time off and uh, improve your job skills right. and our, get a certification. Our instructor says that the students who have been through the program in Flagstaff that were currently working in the field, mm -hmm. once they uh, have finished the program and have their certification, their pay has bumped up as much as $3 an hour. Really? So, uh -huh. so, so even if you don't want to learn something job. new, you're going to get a pay raise. That's well, right. maybe. Not necessarily. <laughs> you it can't can guarantee happen, that. Can't guarantee. Yeah, you can't guarantee it. But hey, I mean, you've got more skills. you got a piece of paper that says, I know what I'm doing. That's right. You never know. You can get a raise. That's, That's awesome. exactly right. The, the other thing I'll mention, too, is that part of the program allows for them to do some work skills development as well. So okay. interviewing, how to write your resume. Oh, really? And oh. We, we do a little job fair. So okay. they, we work that in as well. So that nice. they have some opportunity to Just kind to of rounding everything out That's for right. everyone. All That's right. right. All right. Let's see what else we have here. Um, let's see. Fair housing regulation compliance. That makes sense. Okay. Yes. Environmental responsibility and regulatory compliance. Okay, I could see where that would definitely come into play for a lot of people. Reporting and documentation of maintenance activities. That's a big one. Uh, being in compliance with company policy. Are, are you guys using some kind of standard for that? or There is, and I can't tell you what the acronym is. <laughs> Acronyms, you gotta love them. <laughs> but yes, there, <laughs> there is one. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Uh, let's see. Established procedures for maintaining recreational facilities and common areas. Okay, that makes sense. Implementation of a preventative maintenance schedule. That's a huge one right mm -hmm. there. A lot of people, you know, they wait until yeah, things break. How do I prioritize, break. right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's better to just kind of make yes. sure that everything goes sure, well. Sure, sure. Um, let's see. Oh, other than apartments and houseboats, what other jobs can this certification be applicable to? You bet. So hotels and motels. Okay. Uh, restaurants. Okay. Uh, we even have graduates from our Flagstaff program who have taken it to golf courses. Golf course. Okay. All right. Uh, I think that you could probably also look at um, recreational facilities. Uh, that okay. Kind of thing. All right. Awesome. Well, there's all kinds of stuff you can learn. Well, and actually, your own house, if you think about it. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, hey, if you don't know how, this will teach you how to maintain your own place. That's right. <laughs> it's a lot cheaper than having somebody else come in That's and right. do it. I'll tell you that. <laughs> See, product repair and replacement decisions, that makes sense. Professional behavior patterns, communication skills, and appearance. Right. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, you know that employers aren't looking for people who can just do the dirty work. They also want to be able to have them interact with other people, okay. whether it's with um, customers or whoever, but make certain that they can present themselves in a professional way representing the company. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, you don't want to have piercings all over your head and you know have a purple streak in it. I can see that. And you got to be polite to the customer. That's right. That's a That's huge right. one. That's right. That is definitely a huge can be one. able to communicate as well. Yes. Yes. Effective communication is probably Probably key to everything. Sure. <laughs> uh, let's see. Clear and respectful communication. We were just talking about that with residents, team members, and contractors. Yes. Nice. That contractors one is a big one too. Yes, it is. Contractors. Uh, that's that's a big deal mm. when it comes to this kind of stuff. Yes. Definitely. So the other piece that uh, I don't know if we, you read over it or not is the pool maintenance. Pool maintenance. And okay. So forth. So they do have a component in the class that will be um, pool maintenance. You don't end up with a certification. That's okay. an additional piece that. Um, students could look into later, but it, it, okay. I just want to make sure that folks knew that's a that's, part that's Yeah, that is a big deal uh, mm -hmm. around here, you know, doing pool maintenance. It's it's actually kind of a science, and that's you right. can get a certification <laughs> in it. This yes, isn't the certification, can. but at least you get a, a basic knowledge of how to do it. That's, right. a, that's a good thing. That's it's right. a big deal. 
<clears throat> Let's see here. I believe uh, well, that's all the questions. Do you have anything else you'd like to say about the Cam T program? There you go. <laughs> I got it that time. Look at that. <laughs> I'm, I'm just really excited about this opportunity that the county is providing for the Page residents. It's an opportunity for our our residents to just get a skill that they may not have an opportunity to do otherwise. And it's free. And, and it's free. It's free. <laughs> Remember and that, it, free. And it really is applicable to, in a lot of ways to the industry and page. Definitely. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that is, that is, it's unbelievable and it's such perfect timing. I mean, the season's coming up, getting the certification and the jobs that are available around here, there's a lot of maintenance positions. People need to know this stuff, and even if they do know it, this could brush up on some of their skills, or they might learn something new. That's right. I know a little tiny bit about pool maintenance, but I could learn more if That's I came right. to you guys. All That's right. right. Our two instructors that come will come from Flagstaff to teach it are exceptional. Uh, the one gentleman has a, a big background in solar energy oh, and nice. alternative energy. I have a bit of a background in that myself. Very good. <laughs> you Low are voltage well electric. <laughs> well, I get around. I like learning new things. That's, so. that's good. <laughs> so he'll also work in some solar aspects into the content as well. Okay. All right. Like wiring, or do you know specifically? I don't know specifically. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Series so. parallel, probably. All well, that kind yeah, of Well, yeah. You, go, hook it up. you yeah. go ahead and go there. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It really is. And it's really awesome when you stick it together and it doesn't blow up in your face. Sure, it, it's sure. awesome when it works properly. When it starts shorting out, it's no, not fun. Not so good. And the stuff's <laughs> expensive. So, yeah. see. Oh, we do have something else here. What field experience do the instructors have or have they just always taught the information? That's, so do they do or do they just teach? That's, that's a great question. Okay. So um, the, the, one of the instructors is the construction technology maintenance the instruction technology program okay. um, at our Flagstaff campus. He's the lead instructor, full-time instructor. And okay. um, in order to teach at a community college, of course, you have to have certain qualifications. So he has those as well as being somebody who's been really involved in the field, does lots of service projects, actually, in oh, the good. Flagstaff area. So he actually doesn't know what he's doing. He's not just reading it out of a book to No, you. not at all. Yeah, and, and the other gentleman as well, like I said, his background is, um, is varied, but he does have a lot of background in the solar area. They're two amazing um, instructors. Awesome. Well, we can't wait to, to meet them, at least say in hi. Order to, in order to teach in this um, national, what does it say, National Apartment Association, oh, yes. okay. they they have to also have certain qualifications. So. Okay, yeah, they got to make sure that they actually know what they're talking about. Okay. That's right. right. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes exactly sense. Right. <laughs> that's awesome. So She's asking great questions. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, that's what Lois is for. She's the investigative there reporter. There you go. I just make everything function. Yes. <laughs> She's the brains behind the operation here. <laughs> That's wonderful. So uh, you have four slots left available. It's free. We need to fill four. We need to fill four. We have s several more than four. Several more than four, but we have to have at least four more so That's that the right. program can launch. That's okay. Right. All right, that makes That's sense. Right. So make sure you guys get down there and sign up for this amazing free program where you can get certified to do all kinds of interesting things. That is really neat. Uh, do you have anything else you'd like to add to that? No, I just encourage them if they think they're at all interested or have questions to get in touch with me as soon as possible. Um, you can call the Page Center okay. at 645-3987. Is that on the paper somewhere? It is. Oh, I'm, I'm sitting right in front of it here. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, no, i got to go this way. There we go. Aha. You can barely see it down <laughs> yeah. there. Well, um, well, we'll make sure we put it up in the link after the Perfect. interview. So. Perfect. I appreciate the opportunity to visit more about it. I'm really excited about the program and well, it, it want to see it happen. Awesome. I, that's great. Thank you so much for stopping by. It was wonderful talking with you. We always love doing live interviews down here. Uh, this has been an interview with Kay Liam. That's right. Liam, okay. I'll get it one of these days. <laughs> like I'm petroleum. Horrible. I'm horrible with names. It, my mind is like a steel sieve. Everything just kind of runs right we'll through. Do it, we'll do it this way. So like with apartment maintenance, it's like linoleum. Okay. All right. <laughs> that might work. That might work. I have to think of it. Well, thank you guys very much for joining us, and we will catch you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.